Skill, speed, strength, these are all attributes that every soccer player needs to be effective on the field. OS3 is a developmental program designed specifically for soccer players. OS3 offers high level sports performance training in conjunction with high level soccer skill coaching all under one roof. Jeremiah White is the current head coach of the defending high school state champ Central Bucks East and regional champion LMC Sabretooth Rats. He was a three-time All-American soccer player at Wake Forest and played internationally for eight years on a professional level. Brian Hennessy is the owner and head sports performance coach of Overachieve Sports and Speed. He has helped thousands of athletes over six years in business improve their athletic performance with the use of his customized performance programming. Brian was a college football player and also played professionally for both the Arizona Cardinals and the Philadelphia Eagles. Brian and Jeremiah are high-level coaches in their individual fields and their partnership has raised the bar when it comes to training and developing the complete soccer player. One of the things that um, initially attracted me to, uh, to Brian and his facility and his, his concept of, of training was um, just the fact that he understood very clearly that giving kids the physical edge can be the difference when all things are equal. So if you're technically equal with your opponent, if you have the, uh, the same size, etc. If you can run faster and jump higher, then you're probably going to win more duels. Our main focus is speed and athleticism. So I know sometimes as soccer parents, oh, I don't need absolute strength. So what's nice, again, about our program is a lot of the attributes that I have found that are important to soccer are critical for, for getting faster. We, we talk a lot in here our system is based on relative body strength. How well someone controls their body is critical to being faster. And, and obviously on the soccer field, you know, that extra step or two is so important. Right? What's nice about soccer and many of the team sports, acceleration can be improved. And I, I really want, hope we can educate parents on, on how that's improved. Yeah. The way I approach training kids to dribble um, 1v1, 2v1, and being able to get out of tight spaces, you gotta have balance, you gotta have coordination, you have to have power. You have to have improvisation and intuition. These are all critical components to being able to, uh, you know, to manipulate a ball and maneuver out of a situation. So again, um, I, don't, I can't sort of overstate how important the, this type of, of, of training is for soccer. So my Central Bucks East team, we have a phenomenal freshman class and we have a, a very good senior class. And the physical difference is, is unbelievable. So the freshmen are actually better soccer players than the seniors. But they play against the seniors and it's literally moving the, the kid who's got more technique, just moving them out of the way. So the question becomes, how do you shorten that developmental gap? How do you give, put the kids in, you know, like Brian was saying, in seventh and eighth grade in a program that gets them to the point where maybe they're not as physically mature as a senior, but they can at least compete to let their skill give them some, some level of an advantage. Because right now, where our kids are, the physical advantage the seniors have is just so dramatic that their skill is neutralized. This is something, if you don't build it in into the development plan of your athlete in seventh, eighth grade, it, it's hard. We have so many soccer players come to us, junior, junior high school boys, they're, they're not very fast, they have really tremendous skills, and the parents are sending them to us as juniors. We time them in a 20-yard dash, and to be honest with you, there's some slow soccer players that are coming in here, and this isn't, this isn't a magic where six months of speed training is going to make you an above-average runner. This is something, if you, if you can invest early in their development, you know, seventh, eighth grade, and you build in it over four years, you're, you're talking about a kid instead of being 22 inch vertical leap, if they gain two inches each year in their vertical jump, that 22 inch 
naturally is now a 38 as, as a rising as a rising junior, rising senior. So I, I think it, what I really want to do is educate parents that it, it's too late to push the button over oh, the college coach loves them, but they said they need to gain a step. You need to be gaining that step along the whole development process from seventh, eighth grade through, through the high school career. Right now, if you don't have quality and high, high degree of anticipation, if you don't have technical skills, and if you're not to, to some degree fast, strong, you know, good jumping ability, your career is going to, is going to, is going to unfortunately slow down in certain, at certain periods. So again, it might be good for you, you know, you might do well in youth club ball, but then once kids start to train and start to develop, then you're going to see that there's going to be a physical difference that might be too great to overcome. So this type of training is actually becoming a necessity to be able to compete. I, I, I think that's why I, I, love, I love working with Jeremiah because we're on the same page as far as how can we maximize this, this, this athlete's career and then, and then getting back to that development plan, how do you fit, how do you fit this type of training in and I, I think that what's nice about what we're, we're able to do in here, we're not, we're not asking the athletes to come in here five days a week. We've been able to come up with a, with a, a great system, we're talking two days a week, two and a half hours over that development plan period where, again, at the end of the rainbow, it's going to be a different physical specimen that we're looking at. I think as we, as we talk about being able to do both soccer skills and sports performance in the same place, as a parent, this would have been a godsend. This would have saved me oh, uh, hours and hours on the road if there was one-stop shopping where I can work on my technical skills, get the speed and strength, and then, and then leave for the night and have both things checked off.